Hi guys! Our topic for today is all about the differentiation of trigonometric function. We're in the derivative of uh, sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. The derivative of tangent u with respect to x is equal to second squared u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. Next, the derivative of second u with respect to x is equal to second u multiplied to tangent u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. And then the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. The derivative of cotangent u with respect to x is equal to cosecant squared u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. And lastly, the derivative of cosecant u with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant u multiplied to cotangent u multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. So I want you to write down all these um, formulas because we're going to use all of this in the example that I'll be presenting. Okay, first example, the derivative of cosine 5x minus 3 with respect to x. So, by using the formula, so, ang derivative ng cosine ay equal sa negative sine of 5x minus 3 and then multiplied to the derivative of 5x minus 3 with respect to x. Okay, so we'll have here negative sine 5x minus 3. And then yung derivative ng 5x minus 3 natin ay equal sa 5. And since 5 is a constant, we can write it in front. So, we'll have negative 5 sine of 5x minus 3. So, yun na yung final answer natin. Okay, second example, we have here the derivative of second 3 minus 2x with respect to x. So, by applying the formula, the ang derivative ng second is equal to second of 3 minus 2x multiplied to tangent 3 minus 2x and then multiplied to the derivative of 3 minus 2x with respect to x. And then, let's just copy second 3 minus 2x and tangent, multiply to tangent 3 minus 2x. So, what is the derivative of 3 minus 2x? So, we'll have negative 2. And negative 2 is constant again, so we can write it in uh, the front side. So, we'll have negative 2 second 3 minus 2x multiplied to tangent 3 minus 2x. So, that is the final answer. Third example, the derivative of cotangent 7x minus 15 with respect to x. So, the derivative of a cotangent is equal to negative cosecant squared 7x minus 15 multiplied to the derivative of 7x minus 15 with respect to x. So we'll have negative cosecant squared 7x minus 15 multiplied to the derivative of 7x minus 15 is equal to 7. And the constant 7, we can write it dito sa unahan. So we'll have negative 7 cosecant squared of 7x minus 15. So that is for the final answer. Fourth example, we have the derivative of tangent x squared with respect to x. The derivative of tangent is second squared x squared multiplied to the derivative of x squared with respect to x. So, we'll have second squared x squared multiplied to, so, ang derivative na x squared is equal to 2x. So, we'll have there 2x and then yung 2x, we can write it in front. So, we'll have 2x second squared x squared. So, ito na yung final answer. 
fifth example, we have the derivative of tangent squared x with respect to x. This function could also be written as the derivative of tangent x quantity raised to 2 with respect to x. And using this, we're going to apply the power root. So we'll have 2 multiplied to tangent x raised to 2 minus 1 multiplied to the derivative of tangent x with respect to x. Okay, so we'll have here 2 tangent x since 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, 1 na lang exponent natin dyan. And then, what is the derivative of tangent x according to the um, the rules of differentiation we have in trigonometric function. So, it is equal to second squared x multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. And the derivative ng x with respect to x ay equal na sa 1. So, we're just going to have 2 tangent x second squared x as the final answer. Sixth example, we have the derivative of x squared sine x with respect to x. And in here, we're going to use the product rule. So, yung first factor natin dito is yung x squared and then yung second is yung sine x. So, we'll have x squared multiplied to the derivative of sine x with respect to x. And then plus sine x sin x multiplied to the derivative of x squared with respect to x. So, by simplifying, we'll have your x squared. And the derivative of sin x is equal to cosine x multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. And then, plus sin x and then, what is the derivative of x squared? So, it is equal to 2x. So, as our final answer, we'll have here x squared cosine x. So, yung derivative of x natin dito with respect to x is equal to 1. So, hindi natin isusulat. And then, plus 2x sin multiplied to sine x. So, that is for the final answer x squared cosine x plus 2x multiplied to sine x. Seventh example, we have here the, deri the derivative of cosine x over x with respect to x. And in here, we're going to use the quotient rule. So for quotient rule, we'll have x multiplied to the derivative of cosine x with respect to x. Then minus cosine x multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x all over x squared. Then, simplifying, so we have here x multiplied to the derivative of cosine x which is equal to negative sine x multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x. And then minus cosine x. So the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So kahit din natin yan i lagay. And then all over x squared. Okay, as for the final answer, we'll have the negative. We'll have negative x sine x minus cosine x all over x squared. So, sa, nakuha, sa, sa, sa natin nakuha yung negative x, it's when we multiply x and negative sine x. And then, yung derivative of x with respect to x here ay 1. So, hindi natin siya inilag. Okay, eighth example, we have the derivative of sine cube 2x minus 3 with respect to x. So, this could also be written as the derivative of sine 2x minus 3 quantity raised to 3. And then again in here, so with respect to x, so in here we're going to use the power rule. So we'll have 
3 multiplied to sine 2x minus 3 raised to 3 minus 1 multiplied to the derivative of sine 2x minus 3 with respect to x. And then, by simplifying, we'll have 3 sine 2x minus 3 raised to 2. And then, the derivative of sine 2x minus 3 is equal to cosine 2x minus 3 multiplied to the derivative of 2x minus 3 with respect to x. So, we'll have here 3 multiplied to sine 2x minus 3 squared cosine 2x minus 3 and then the derivative of 2x minus 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so we have here the constant 2 and 3 so we can combine it. So by multiplying, so we're going to have 6. So the final answer could be written as 6 multiplied to sine 2x minus 3 squared cosine 2x minus 3 or 6 multiplied to sine squared 2x minus 3 cosine 2x minus 3. So either of these two will do. And for the last example, we have the derivative of square root of sine for x. So we're going to use the rule in differentiation for square roots. So we'll have here the derivative of sine for x with respect to x all over 2 square root of sine for x. Okay, so by applying the different the rule sa trigonometric function natin for sine, so ang derivative niya equal sa cosine 4x multiplied to the derivative of 4x with respect to x all over 2 square root of sine 4x. Okay, so by simplifying the numerator, we'll have here cosine 4x multiplied to 4 since yun yung derivative ng 4x natin all over 2 square root of sine 4x so again sa numerator natin we have a constant 4 so lagay natin siya sa unahan so that's why we'll have here 4 cosine of 4x all over 2 square root of sine 4 x. So, okay. so, as you can see, we have here the constant 4 and 2. And when we divide 4 by 2, it will be equal to 2. So, that's why we'll have 2 cosine 4x over square root of sine 4x. So, we're going to rationalize. So, by multiplying this whole fraction by square root of sine 4x. So, that's why our final answer in Latin is 2 cosine 4x square root of sine 4x all over sine 4x. So, yun yung final answer natin. So, as you can notice, dito sa differentiation of trigonometric functions, na-apply pa rin natin yung 9 rules natin for differentiation. So, I want you to have a recall about that kasi i-apply nyo yun dito and sa mga susunod pa nating topics. Okay, we want you to try these examples and we'll reveal the answers on our next meet. Thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learn. Bye!